What's going on YouTube? This is L or LSAO, whichever you want to call me. And today I'm going to be showing you what's in my tech travel bag for a young student, well, not so young, but a student going through computer programming. So this right here, I have the OGO Bedded 17 backpack. It's a great backpack. I think it's going for about $80 right now on Amazon. But the reason why I love this backpack so much is that it just has crazy amount of pockets for anything that you can possibly think of. So without further ado, I'm going to start showing you everything that I personally take to school. So first of all, I'll also show you some of the pockets and show where you can put some things. So for example, in this first compartment, you can open it up. It has stitching in here that shows some of the things that you can put in there. So right now I'd have my Sony camera in here if I was easy to record this video. And that's cool. Right. Next pocket is the first one. And in here there's also stitching. There's like stitching everywhere in this backpack. For here you can see the plane where you can put like passports, tickets and stuff. Where on our last trip today we just went to San Francisco, I actually put some of our tickets in there. You can carry ID in here, and as you can see, standard issue pens and pencils, pink eraser that my dog chewed up. Also, have this TI 84 graphics calculator. Also, have some cool calculus notes in here. So, this has a calculator, you probably won't need it unless you're doing pre count and such. It's also not cheap, I think that one was about $114. Next up, in these little pockets, I also carry basics, gum, five gum, and some Burt's Bees. Can't have chap lips while you're in school. Next in here, I have this Anchor Power Bank. I believe it was about 23,000 milliamps. This is, this is a lifesaver. The great thing about this is that it also has USB-C and two USB 3.0. Ports. And this supports fast charging for your devices that support it like the new Galaxy S8 and hopefully the next iPhone. Cross my fingers on that. And it also has an LED indicator of the charge it has. As the charge goes down, the lights go off. Basic stuff. Next I have in here is an iClever wall charger. Comes with two ports. This is also supporting fast charging for devices that support it. Folds out, folds in basic stuff. Next I have in here, this is my form of cable management. It's not the greatest. I have a uh, gridded that I haven't been using so I'm too lazy. But in this little carry-in pouch I have cords such as this USB to micro USB and some uh, another USB and micro USB and a USB-C to USB-C for uh, people that have phones and devices that support it. I only have one device that supports USB-C right now. I'm stuck in the stone ages and so is uh, a lot of tech companies. Next I have in here is a 10 foot mesh cable for USB to lightning because I carry an iPhone. I know USB-C is the greatest and all. Apple stuck in the past, but this is what I got. 10 feet, I can reach pretty much anywhere. And it's it's just a lifesaver to have 10 feet. Let's see, next I have in a little zipper pocket. Uh, nothing important, just an inhaler. Sick, sick people problems. And that's it for this pocket. Next pocket, this is where we get into some of the fun stuff. And to start off with the fun stuff, I have tissue because I have allergies and can't be having runny noses in school so in this pocket they also show some of the stitching and little pictures of things that you could put in there you can put cameras sunglasses headphones mouse and things like a portable charger in this pocket in this main pocket I have a couple headphones I have ear pods not the greatest but they work in a pinch hand sanitizer can't be having uh, sick people touching you and just a bunch of uh, pens, some lead from my mechanical pencil 
Carmex. Really can't have chapped lips. And my bows and ear twos. They're not in the greatest condition, but they work. Next pocket, I have more headphones. I know I carry a lot of headphones, but I like to be prepared. Because sometimes I lose headphones, so it's nice to have backups. These are the Symphonize headphones. They got a nice little wood looking finish. I'm not sure if that's real or not, but they work. And this next pocket down here where headphones are actually supposed to go. I have this Steel Series Condom Mouse Counter Strike Go Edition. My awesome roommate got this for me for my birthday. Works great and it's wired. Next, I have this JBL Pulse. It's a little dirty, I'm sorry about that, but this is the first edition. Um, I haven't really felt the need to upgrade. I felt like this is nice enough as it is. It works. And it's just good to have music on the go, wherever you go. Uh, another fun thing, Spiral Notebook. Need it for notes, need it for doing math. Everybody loves math. Yeah. Also, got some cashmere gloves for uh, when it gets a little cold outside. Great thing about these gloves is they have they have these tips, so you can keep using smartphones with them. Very nice. And one of the fun things I have in here, the Nintendo Switch. Got this baby after waiting eight hours in line one day. And I know you guys are going to ask. Where is the case? I don't have one yet, but right now, to make things work and so I don't have to worry so much, I have a nice glass screen protector on there. So I don't have to worry about scratches there. The rest of it is pretty nice. I don't, I'm not too worried about scratching everywhere else. It's the main thing to worry about is, of course, the screen. So I have that fun gadget. Next in here, iPad Pro 9.7 inch. Uh, this wasn't really essential for school. I just got it because I had a Python class and I can do things like Pythonese down here so I can write my code on here. That way I don't have to pull out my Mac whenever I don't need to. So it's fun and usually mostly I use this for content consumption. And I believe that's it for this pocket. Nothing else in here. Alright, so next pocket, this one you can use to carry glasses in, as you can see the stitching here, whenever I want to put my glasses in there. This pocket, let's see, you can carry a camera here as well. I carry a little flashlight because you never know when you're out at night, you might need to see around where you're going. It's not the greatest flashlight, I actually need to replace that at some point, but it's there. This pocket. A little bit of a spoiler was coming later, but it's a little charger for my MacBook Pro. Um, it's a short cord. It's not the greatest, but it works for school. The great thing about MacBooks is they're usually better on battery life than a Windows PC. And in here, there's also a little mesh right here, so you can carry water bottles in here if you're so inclined to do it. I personally don't, but some of you might. This pocket over here. This is where I carry my iPhone 6 Plus. Very outdated phone. Hopefully I can upgrade fairly soon. Maybe I can wait long enough for the next iPhone. But this is in here. And in this pocket you can carry things like MP3 players that you can see from the stitching. From this pocket over here, I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I carry a deck of magic cards. I'm not that great at magic, but you know, it's nice to have them. A little fun thing to play from time to time. And then this pocket, huh, this one doesn't have any stitching. So I guess you can put whatever you want in there. And then last pocket, but definitely not least, is the computer compartment. And this is where I carry my MacBook Pro 15 inch from 2013 Retina. This is my baby. I'm surprised I've had it for as long as I have. Great thing about the Mac, I can put in things like Python, Xcode, uh, brackets for people that program, and for whatever other programs I can't use on the Mac OS system, 
have this awesome thing. It's a great, another great thing about the MacBook is I can also dual boot it. So right now it's actually also loading up Windows. And Windows is what I use for all the other programming programs that I can't use on Mac OS, such as SQL, SQL Server. And as you see, it's a full Windows 10 system. So, also do video editing on that thing as well. So, this is all the stuff I carry in my tech bag. As you can see, since some of these are central programming stuff, some of them are like this. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. This is L. Catch you guys later.